Okay, I have now reached my row 12. Now for row 13, and also let me tell you before I go any further, you have to turn this inside out, okay? Um, I do that whenever I'm in the process of going around. Um, so, you flip this inside out. You just seen me pull my stitch marker from inside, so you want to um, turn that inside out and put your stitch marker right where your hook is at currently. Now for round 13, you just want a single crochet in each stitch around. So you get back to where your stitch marker is at after you've single crocheted. So basically for round 13, you're just adding an additional row. Okay, go all the way around and my colors are wonderful. I have to give myself a pat on the back. I feel like uh, my colors for this roll of yarn that I did came out absolutely beautiful. Okay. All right, so once you get back, you're going to slip into the next stitch. Okay, now it, right here, you do not fasten off unless you're changing color. Okay, so I'm changing, so I want to fasten off and leave myself a good uh, two inch tail. And I'm going to grab my white. As soon as I find the beginning of it, there we go. Now I'm going to change my color and I'm going to pull that back out. So I'm going to stick my hook back in where we were going to slip stitch at and I'm going to attach my white and pull that through and through there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is lay this down. I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off and I'm going to tie a small knot with both of my straggler pieces there. That way it doesn't come undone in the process and you have a little extra security. Okay, now I'm going to trim this down to match the white. Alright, so now, now we're going to start the ribbon. What you're going to do here is you're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Now you're going to be working down this um, stitch or this chain right here that you just did. So what you're going to do is you're going to single crochet in that second chain from your hook like we normally do. Let me unwind some here. Okay. All right, so then in the next three, you're going to single crochet as well. So one. And these you have to kind of take your time on. Two. And three, which was your, your uh, beginning stitch. As soon as I can get it through all of my yarns. Like I say, these are the trickier moves here. Okay, now what you want to do is slip stitch in the next two single crochet of this last round. So you're going to go, you're going to go right into there and you're going to slip into there. To finish it off, then you're going to slip into the following one also. Okay, so now you're going to turn, okay, and you're going to chain four. So one, two, three, four. Okay, and I'll be back with you and show you the rest. 